Hey everybody, Glenn here again with DigitalSandwich.net. So I was doing a project recently, much like this, where I had two objects and I needed to connect them with a cable. And when I moved one of these objects around, I wanted the cable to react dynamically. So if I move this guitar around, I want my cable to move like you would expect it would, like an actual guitar cable would. So I can move it around, I can shake it, and it's going to move a lot like you would expect. So let me show you how I set this up. So I am going to delete this cord and we're just going to start over. So what I need to do is add a spline. Now I know for this scene in particular, a linear spline is going to work best for me. And I think in most cases, a linear spline is always the best way to go. Because you can ensure that the points on the spline are evenly spaced, which is going to give you very natural looking movements of your spline. So I'm going to make a linear spline. The first point I'm going to put right in this guitar jack on my amp. Second point right on the guitar jack on the guitar. So let me line these up. I'll go into my side view. Let's grab this point. Move up right there. Grab the second point. Move up right there. So if we were to set this up the rest of the way right now and animate it, it's not going to look very natural because there are only two points and it's always going to be a straight line right here in between these two points. So what we need to do is add a few more points along this spline. So I'm going to do a Command A, Control A if you're on a PC. Select both my points. I'm going to right click and do a subdivide. I'm going to click this little box next to it and I can tell it how I want to subdivide it. I'm going to do five subdivisions. It is going to add a few more points evenly spaced across this spline for me, which is exactly what I want. So now I want to make my spline dynamic. So I'm going to go to my spline, right click, go to hair tags, spline dynamics. So if I hit play right now, it's just going to drop because I didn't actually connect this to anything. And I should note I do have a hair collider on my floor. To add this, you just right click, hair tags, hair collider. My spline is always going to bounce off this. So my spline just drops because I need to stick it to an object. So what I need to do is right click, go to hair tags, to a constraint tag. Now I need to tell this what to constrain to. So in my guitar, I want to constrain it to the guitar jack. I'm going to drag the guitar jack into object right here. And if I hit play again, and it looks like it's not working, but that's because it doesn't know which point is constrained. And so it's just disregarding everything. So what I need to do is tell it to only use a point. So I want to select this point right here at the end going to zoom in. Actually, let me get into my side view so we can see a little better. So I want to select this point and back in my constraint tag, I'm going to click set. And you can see it made this little yellow line. This little yellow line connects this point to the center point of this object that we have in here. So now if we go back and hit play, we rewind that, if we hit play, this point is stuck right in our guitar, but the other point isn't still. So let's do the same exact thing. Let's go over here, select our points. Let's add a hair tag constraint. I want to add it to the guitar jack of my amp. I'll press set. It's going to make the little yellow line ensuring that we are connected. I can go back here. I can hit play again. And just like that, we are connected. And I can move this around and it's going to wiggle, do what I want. So now to actually give our chord some thickness, I need to add a sweep nerbs. So I'm going to go in here, add a sweep nerbs. Now we need to add a circle spline to tell it the radius of the sweep. So I'm going to make the circle a child of the sweep nerbs and add our spline right underneath that. Now our circle is way too big. I'm going to shrink this down to about two. If we hit play again, it's connected and I can move around, but you can see there's still this sharp edge right here. And what we can do to fix that is I'm going to just add a smooth onto my sweep nerves. So if I click on my sweep nerves, hold down alt and click on hyper nerves, it will automatically make the sweep nerves a child of my hyper nerves. And there we have a nice smooth cable and I can move around and everything and everything works just like you think it would. And there we just connected two objects with a dynamic spline. Now one more thing here, if I zoom in here and look at my cable connected to my amp. Now on a real guitar cable, the cable is going to come out a little bit more before it starts to bend. And there's a way we can fix this. I'm going to click on my spline on my point. I want to right click. 
and I'm going to make it a soft interpolation. You can see it adds the big long Bezier curve and all I can do is just take this, rotate this point up, making sure that I am even, even-ish, oops. When we hit play you can see that it's a little more like you would expect. I could do the same over here if I want. Grab my points, soft interpolation, rotate it up just like that. And there we got it. There's a little more natural. So I'm using a guitar as my example, but you can really use anything you want. You can do a computer mouse, some rope. If you have a robot arm, you can add some hydraulic cables that are connected to both. Now keep in mind, if you want a very specific shape, you might need to use a different kind of spline. Maybe a, a bezier spline, you can just draw it in a specific shape already. And you can have it keep that shape, but still you know, wiggle around and move dynamically. You can always go into the Spline Dynamics tag. You have all these options on drag stiffness, rubber, elasticity. So you can really help it move the way that you want. So hopefully this tutorial helps you out. If you have any questions or problems, leave a comment on the blog and I will try my best to help you troubleshoot. So for DigitalSandwich.net, this is Glenn with Connecting Objects with a Dynamic Spline.